Rose Heart here um, and today um, before I get into this video I just want to do a few notifications well a few pointers okay so basically Wendy's video uh, Wendy's Wednesday's video is time has changed it's seven between seven and half seven when I upload Wendy's video as you can see by the title is going to be a Christmas uh, Q&A Friday's video is going to be a, a, inspire, a Christmas inspired um, hairstyles Plus, that video is going to be pre-recorded because when that video goes up, I will be having my hair done. So, yeah. And then Monday's video will be a winter slash party lookbook. Also, if you want to see a video all about my hair, just comment on that video and I will do that for you. Also, at the end of December, I'm doing a Christmas favourites, a December favourites and a 2019 goal video as well. Um, achieving goals video because it's going to be um, what goals I want to achieve by the end of 2019 then so yeah so like and subscribe and click that notification bell if you want to see any of them videos also if you want to see what I'm doing when I'm not videoing my social media will be down below so guys let's get into this video so um, over the past couple of weeks I've had um, some questions been asked so I've been writing them down so I remember them um, some of them are Christmas, there's two that isn't. So yeah, so let's just get straight into them. So, first question, favourite Christmas songs? Okay, one is, um, Where Is Christmas? The one that is played in The Grinch by Cindy Lou, she sings it. The second one is by Megan, I can't remember her last name, it starts with T. I'll put all the answers to all my questions down in the bottom bar anyway, if you want to check out any of them. I'll be home for Christmas. Um, my second, my third one is um, Santa Tell Me by Ana Grande. Um, and then my fourth one is a classic one which is by Wham! Last Christmas and I love them. Then, second question is favourite Christmas films. So, I was going to narrow this down to two but actually there's actually three that I love. First one, my first top one and I'm going to go in order. So the first one is Sister Swap. I what Sister Swap, Princess Swap. I watched this on the 1st of December and oh my god I've loved it ever since and I probably will. So the first top one is um, Sist Princess Swap. The second favourite Christmas present, Christmas present, Christmas film is The Muppets Christmas Carol. Oh my god it's my favourite. Third one is The Grinch. So these top three will be probably my favourite Christmas films till God knows when. So yeah, they're my favourite. Um, number three is favourite Christmas day outfit, makeup and hair. So my outfit will be um, a pair of probably dolly shoes or boots with either a Christmas dress or jumper. If it's a Christmas dress, I will wear tight. If it's um, a Christmas jumper, I will wear leggings. And then my hair will be curled, probably with like this, curled like this with um, a little, probably a little bit of tinsel around this bit here. And then my um, makeup will probably be very simple, no eyeshadow. And then a bright, bold lip, like a red or like that. Um, I'm going to let me try and find it. Or this, which is Mark Liquid Lip Lacquer Matte in Manita from Avon. That is another one that I'll probably be wearing. So I have that or a red one. So yeah, that's my um, outfit, hair and makeup that I'll probably be wearing for Christmas Day. Um, but anyway, I'll probably do a video on Christmas Day. I'm not sure. It'll probably be the day after. So, we'll see. Question four. Favourite part about Christmas? It has to be the decorating. Um, I literally love decorating for Christmas. It's my favourite part. Um, best advice. This is question number five. Best advice for people doing YouTube. Okay, so I have three good... Um, um, well, four good um, advice for people wanting to start YouTube or doing YouTube. One, be yourself. Just be yourself. It's 
at the end of the day, don't be someone or try and be someone that else. Because at the end of the day, if someone meets you in person and you're not the same as on YouTube, they're not really going to want to watch you no more. So just be yourself. That is my biggest, biggest, like, advice ever. For my second biggest advice ever is literally don't care what people say. Because at the end of the day, right, where I live and people are lying these days, literally, they say one thing and then literally everyone else jumps on the bandwagon. Don't care what people say. At the end of the day, if someone doesn't know you personally, then don't take it to heart. Because at the end of the day, you don't know what's going on. You don't know whether they're having a bad day. You don't know whether something's happening in their life and they're taking out on someone. So, yeah, so just be yourself. Don't take to heart what everyone says or don't care what anyone says. At the end of the day, if you love doing YouTube, then do it. Number three, don't be in it for the money. Because at the end of the day, if you're not in it because you love it, it's going to show in your videos. Literally, I love doing YouTube. I think it's literally amazing. I love it. I don't care about the money. If I don't have the money, I don't have the money. I don't bother me. Just, I don't care. I don't see the point in doing something for the money. If I'm not interested in the money. I love doing YouTube because I love helping people. And I love it when people ask me like advice or questions. I love helping people and that's, that's just the way I am. So yeah, so, um, and then what's the other one? Um, I can't think of another one actually. I think them are the main three re things. Don't be in it for the money. Be yourself and don't care what people say. It's it's not really, it's not that deep. I've been watching too much of Peter, Peter Mums. I literally, it's just funny. Okay, um, number six. What are your three Christmas wishes? I put someone comment on this, comment on the picture that I put on Instagram asking this. And you know what? I actually thought it was a really good question. Um... I think one of them would have to be, I wish that I could stop all the abuse and and everything from for animals and babies and elderly people and stuff like that. The second one would probably have to be, um, what would the second one be? Um, second one would be to take all the nastiness and the evilness and all the all the vileness that the vileness that we have around in this world these days, and all the war and just literally take it away. Because to be honest, at the end of the day, everyone is beautiful. No matter who you are, everyone is beautiful unless you're like in prison or a sex offender or stuff like that then you're not but everyone is beautiful and at the end of the day the least we all deserve is kindness love and care and to be honest i would literally love to take all the evilness all the nastiness and all the war that you see on the news out the world and because nobody wants it nobody needs it and then they the least everyone deserves is caring care and kindness and I don't see we all bleed we all sh we all we the same we all look the same we all you know what I mean we all bleed the same we all we the same we all poo the shit the same like you know what I mean I don't see the difference at the end of the day so literally I would love them are my two wishes um my third wish would probably be um to see my nan one more time um that is always going to be that's going to be my wish all the time it's it's nothing different um and then Question seven. What is your 2019 goals? Um, like I said at the start of the video, I will be doing a 2019 goal video. So I have told the person that said that's a message me that saying that I will be doing a 2019 goal video. So go like and subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when that goes up so you can see. Um, number eight, what favourite food do you only eat around Christmas? Um, mine's gonna be pigs in blanket because literally, um, the only time I really eat pigs in blanket is around Christmas. So that's probably the only thing I eat around Christmas is pigs in blanket, and 
Number nine, if you had um, to spend Christmas in another country, where would you go? Um, to be honest, I wouldn't really go like Spain or nowhere because with getting close, when because I live in this country and because I'm so used to Christmas being really cold, snowy, and kind of like rubbish weather, I wouldn't want to go anywhere where it's hot because I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel like Christmas. I would probably go somewhere like one a Wonderland where it's snowing and like stuff like that for Christmas because I think if we had if we had a white Christmas, I would actually love it. I'd think I would die. I just love it. So yeah, what time are you awake on Christmas? Well, when I was little. Um, when I was like about 10, I used to stay awake all night till morning. But like, I used to stay awake all night and try and make it to the morning, but I used to fall asleep anyway. So we used to get up really early sometimes at like 6 o'clock or like 5 o'clock. And my mum and dad were like, no, go back to bed, otherwise you do not open your presents. I'm like, okay, so we went back to bed. But now that I've got older, I don't get up to like nine to open them because I don't I don't know I don't know whether it's when you get older you realize like uh, it's like it's not really that deep so yeah when I was younger I used to stay awake till morning but then I used to fall asleep anyway and then wake up at like six or eight and then well I used to be awake at six but then my mum and dad like go back to bed we're not getting up till late I'm like okay so then we go back to bed and then they'll, we'll back, go in at 8 o'clock because I set my alarm for 8 and then we'll go in at 8 o'clock. Can I get up now? Can I get up? And they'll be like, yeah, fine. So then we'll go down and like have breakfast, open our presents and then have dinner. Um, but now that I've got older, it's 9 o'clock. So yeah. Which to be fair, I get up at 9 o'clock anyway on a normal day. So there's no different. Um... What do you hate about Christmas? Mm. The fact that it go the day goes really fast. Also, when you go Christmas shopping, the queues are literally huge and the place is packed. Something I don't like. That's the only two things I don't like is that the fact that the day goes fast and that when I go shopping, it's huge. Okay, and then number 12. How much would you like a white Christmas? Oh my God, a white Christmas. I would literally, like I just said in the other statement, I think I'll die. I literally want a white Christmas. But like everyone's like, no, nah, we won't get a white Christmas. Last time I had a white Christmas was like 19, summer, summer. And I'm like, come on. And they're like, no, we won't have a white Christmas, but I really want a white Christmas. Apparently this year, apparently it's supposed to be a white Christmas this year, but whether it happens is a different story. 13. Do you prefer a, Christmas, a themed Christmas tree or a mixed one okay um when i was growing up i actually um we actually had a mixed christmas tree but now that i've got older and my ocd has kicked in like big time i have to have a themed christmas tree so my themed christmas tree this year is pink white silver and sparkle if you've seen in um, how I decorated my room, you would have seen like literally everything is like silver and gold and silver and gold, silver glitter and white and pink. So yeah, so that is my theme. Um, on there, I do have some special ornaments like I've got a snowman, I've got a Christmas tree, I've got some fairies, I've got um, some. Um, butterflies but if you want to see what my christmas tree and my christmas decorations look like then i have got uh how i decorated my room video on here so just go and check that out and you'll see what it looks like are you cooking christmas dinner um no no i never cook christmas dinner i leave that to my dad no i can cook but i can't cook christmas dinner so i leave that to my dad so yeah, um, what Christmas film would you be in if you could choose? If you had to choose, I would be in the Princess Swap because um, I really like that, and I would love to see. I really would. I'd love to be in that because I'd love to see what 
it's like to be a princess for the day, if you get what I mean, like. So, yeah, I would actually love that. I would love to be in the princess swap, if I could. Um, 16, Christmas or the build-up to Christmas. Okay, like I said in the one, of the what I hate about Christmas, Christmas goes really fast. Like, the build-up to Christmas, the hours go really slow, but then it comes to Christmas and it's gone in, like, like literally you close your eyes you open them it's gone so i really love the build up to christmas because i love the christmas shopping i love the decorating so yeah i really love the build up to christmas when christmas day comes it's kind of like the boring and it goes fast so yeah i love the build up to christmas um tidy organized tree or a messy fun tree so when i was younger it was a messy fun tree but now that i've got older like with the other question now that I've got old and my OCD has kicked in, it's an organised um, tree. So, but if you go and look at what my tree looks like in the other video, in my, um, how I decorated my tree and my room video. But yeah, um, I do have some special ornaments on there. Like, I have a Christmas tree that I've had since I was 10. That is on there. Um, I've had a snowman. That I've had since I was 16. That's on there. So even though it's an organised tree. There is little special baubles on there. Well ornaments or baubles. That I have had for quite a while. And to be fair when I have kids. I think to be honest I'm going to do the same. I'm going to let them pick how they want the Christmas tree. But I think each year. I think I'm going to get them a special little bauble. So that when they get to my age. They've got all these special baubles. And then they can decide how they want the tree. So, yeah, I really like that because I really like the, the specialness of it. Because then each bauble has a meaning, like mine have. Um, what is your favourite Christmas um, advert? Oh, my God, this is my favourite question. Well, it's not my favourite question, but, like, you know, I love this question. My favourite Christmas advert has got to be, it is not Christmas without the Coca-Cola um, lorry advert that is number one and then the second one I think it's either Tesco or somewhere and they do the Kevin the Carrot advertisement um, and he's doing that story for these kids and I think them, them two are my most favourite advertisements it's the Coca-Cola truck one and the Christmas the Tesco one where they do the Kevin the Carrot and it's it's lovely I love them. Um, the other one is, who is your favourite present to buy, person to buy for around Christmas time? Okay, so, my favourite person to buy for around Christmas is obviously all my family, but obviously I'm, I have, I'm going to need to try to drink my throat's going sore. You know when you're just getting over an illness, but then you like talk for too long, and like you sore of throat and everything comes back, it's, it's one of them things. Okay, so my favourite person to buy for is my best friend slash sister, who is um, Lauren. And literally, because every time I buy something, she's like, oh no, don't buy me that, don't buy me that. Like, and to be fair, I do spoil her. And, um, and it's because when I give her her gifts, like, she's so appreciative and I literally love it. And it's like... Obviously, all my family are appreciative of the gifts that I give them and everything. But, like, my mate, Lauren, she is just, like, the most caring and appreciative person that I've ever met. And, literally, I love buying presents for her because she's, like, when she opens them, she don't expect me to expect what she gets. And it's, like, and I, I literally just love seeing her reaction on her face when I buy her these all nice gifts. And it's, like, I love it. She's like my favourite person to buy for ever. Out, well, out of all my family and my friend. Um, my friend. So, like, to be honest, she's only my only friend that I've got, to be honest. And it's not the fact that I've got no friends. It's the fact that I don't like drama. So, like, I only have one person in my friend group which cuts out all the drama. So, people might think it's because I, I don't have no friends. But, to be honest, I choose to. I choose not to have no friends because it's less dramatic. Class, uh, class, yeah, that I know. Okay, last question. What is your favourite colour, uh, lipstick colour around Christmas? What? 
What is your favourite lip colour around Christmas? Yeah. Okay, so my favourite lip colour around Christmas is over this one, which is Mark Lip Liquid Lip Lacquer Matte by Manita or um a red um a red lip with a white undertone because if you have a red lip with a white undertone it makes your teeth look really white um so yeah so i really love um having a red a red lip with a white undertone or my um manita lip one from avon these ones for avon i'm really good as well to be honest they're really this they, they stay there for quite a while so guys that is literally all the questions um i was only going to do 10 questions but then i added all the questions up and it come to 20 so i've done 20 questions so yeah guys um all the questions that i've written that i've said and all the answers will be in the description bar so if you've not shown me a question that, an answer on the question that i said they will be in the description bar um so yeah guys see you in a bit guys